There is now a documentary about Idaho called Potato. Huh. Here's a little bit of the trailer. It premiered last week in Boise. Potato is an Idaho film project that was born out of post-pandemic ideas to capture our culture and what lies at the roots of Idaho, wow. the people. It has a deeper meaning than just like potatoes. I wonder what made them specifically decide to look into that after the pandemic. Yeah. I mean, maybe they were, maybe it was one of those pandemic passion projects. Right. Like so many mm -hmm. podcasts started in 2020 mm -hmm. and then ended in like 23. Yeah. Right. Kind of fizzled out right about yeah, then. Right. Like we started a podcast at exactly the wrong time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right at the surge of all of them. But the trailer looks interesting. I'd like to see it. It only played at the Egyptian theater in Boise and let's be real, it's probably a bunch of Boise kids. Oh, probably. I think the farthest east I saw was there's a dude jumping off the Perrine Bridge. Mm -hmm. That's the one in Twin Falls. Right. I didn't see any East yeah. Idaho stuff in the trailer, but the trailer is only 60 seconds long. Right, right. So thepotatomovie.com, link in post if you want to watch the trailer for yourself. I think it's also on YouTube. Um, and there's two reviews. Oh, wow. On IMDb. Well, but like... Was it the people who made it who reviewed it? I was thinking the same thing. I was thinking the same thing. One gave it 8 out of 10. One gave it 7 out of 10. Oh, so they were trying to make it seem like it wasn't right? them. But the, the actual content of the documentary was either critical or tongue-in-cheek critical. Okay. Because one person said, I watched the whole thing and they really didn't say anything about potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I mean, they should have yeah. had like Spud Days and Shelley. Something, yeah. The Potato Museum and Blackfoot. Right, right. And then there was, I think to my earlier point about it's probably Boise-centric, mm -hmm. there was a Northern Idaho person saying, hey, I live in Northern Idaho and there wasn't much of us up here either. Right, yeah. If you're new to Idaho or new to this show... And because we really have had a lot of followers and a lot of subscribers just in the last week. I know, which is so exciting, by the way. Tell all your friends. If if you're one of them, welcome. Come on in. <laughs> crack, a, a crack open a cold Olipop. And, Ooh, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. Although I realized it has stevia in it. Not my favorite, yeah. but just a little note for you, <laughs> Olipop. But um, thank you so much for uh, watching slash listening, whatever you're doing. And being a part of our tribe that we're slowly and painfully building. And you've made it a little more pleasant. So if you're just joining us on this show, this is Idaho in the shape of an L on my forehead where it belongs. And we have three capitals. Here's Boise. Mm -hmm. Here's Spokane outside. And here's Salt Lake City outside mm -hmm. in Utah. Am I doing that? Right? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we do. We have three capitals because the Rocky Mountain, first of all, we're weird shaped. And then yeah. the Rocky Mountains kind of slice us in half diagonally. Uh-huh. Like a sandwich with a bite taken out of it or something. <laughs> right. Yeah, basically. That's why sometimes you don't see a lot of Southeast Idaho. You just see East Idaho because there is no Northeast Idaho. Yeah, not, not really. Okay, anyway. Yeah. So a lot of things that happen in Boise, we're not a part of. Mm -hmm. Northern Idaho is not a part of. And I wouldn't be surprised if this entire documentary reflects that. Right. Well, and you know, that's kind of a shame because I feel like East Idaho has a lot more variety in the um, cultures around here because you've got Sun Valley, which is kind of posh, you know, and then you've got um, Preston, our claim to fame with Napoleon Dynamite, uh, which I think is portrayed very well on that. Uh, and then you've got Idaho Falls, which I feel like a lot of folks tend to travel through. We're hoping soon it'll be two. Well, yeah, we are second. Correct me if I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. Pretty sure it goes Boise, Idaho Falls, and then right. the other cities that don't matter. Kidding. Right. <laughs> Kidding. Yeah, but because we're sort of, uh, I mean, we started out as sort of a hub city, I feel like we have a little bit more diversity than somewhere like Boise does. Well, as someone who lived in Boise for a month, by the way. A month? A whole month? Yeah, it's back when I was doing acrobatics. Oh, that's so right. So I just went there for a month to yeah. just, I was doing aerial acrobatics at a studio there and then... Came back. I lived in northern Idaho. I lived in Lewiston. Right. That's true. For like nine months. Mm -hmm. Long enough to learn that it was the first capital of Idaho. Mm -hmm. And that it's kind of stinky. Yeah. Love you, Lewiston. But that paper mill potlatch, if you've ever lived in a town with a paper mill, especially one that's in a valley like that. Yeah, that's 
did you just do a Mr. Poopy bubble? Yes, I did. <laughs> Ooh, it's stinky. <laughs> <laughs>